Tech companies are bigger, screens are smaller, desktops are dying, and some people just won't shut up. I'm Scott Ellis, welcome to Geek Beat. If you do anything that even kinda sorta touches the internet, then you've probably heard about Mary Meeker's annual Internet Trends Report. If you don't know Mary, she's a partner at Kleiner Perkins Caulfield & Byers, one of the most well-known VC firms in Silicon Valley. Her 2015 annual report is packed with 196 slides of informational goodness. Fortunately for you, we're not going to go through all of them, but I did pull eight that caught my attention, so let's dig in. Starting with slide six, public internet company capitalizations from 1995 to 2015. Back in 1995, Netscape was the big dog among internet companies with a market cap of $5.4 billion. But oh, how times have changed. In 2015, the capitalization king is, you probably guessed it, Apple, worth $763.5 billion. That's almost enough money to make Dr. Evil cry. Apple was also the only company that was on the 1995 and the 2015 list. Almost everyone else from 1995, poof, gone. Slide 8 looks at the impact the internet has had on different sectors of the U.S. economy. While the impact is quite large in the consumer sector, no surprise there, there's still room to make a big dent in business, a large opportunity in security, education, healthcare, and government. So if you're a digital entrepreneur looking for the sectors that have the biggest growth opportunities, there you go. Slide 14 looks at the amount of time we spend each day with digital media broken down by device type. In 2008, we were spending about 2.7 hours per day with digital media, and 2.2 of that was on a desktop or laptop. Now, in 2015, we're spending about 5.6 hours a day, that's a big chunk, with digital media, and 2.8 of those hours, or 51%, are on a mobile device. Related, slide 16 looks at where we spend our media consumption time by medium and compares that to where the current ad dollars are going. It turns out that radio is pretty well balanced, but TV gets more ad spend relative to the amount of time we spend watching TV. Both TV time and ad dollars are falling. Mobile has a huge gap with far more engagement relative to the ad dollars spent there. That means a nice $24 billion opportunity is sitting in mobile advertising. Now, jumping to slide 47, we take a look at which mobile apps are getting the most usage. It turns out that six of the top 10 mobile apps by usage are messaging apps. I always knew that you were a chatty bunch. Moving to slide 58, we see an interesting trend on Pinterest. Seems men are starting to take more interest on Pinterest, and we're pinning a lot of cars, motorcycles, and men's fashion. Usage by men is up about 100%, and apparently my skull board hasn't quite caught on yet either, but I'm okay, and I'm glad to see that more of you guys are hopping on Pinterest. I think that could be a sleeping giant for men's attention in the near future. Slide 68 gives us some insights into what the young people are doing on the internet. No, 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 not that. I mean, what applications 18 to 24 year olds are using and how that's changed from 2014 to 2015. Facebook is down 6%, but is still the leader. Instagram is up 6%, Snapchat is up 11%, Twitter is down 3%, and Vine is flat. That felt like a stock market report. In terms of what the age group regards as their most important channel, Instagram is the clear winner. Is that true, Carter? Is Instagram? Yeah. Yeah? I would say so. Oh. We have uh, confirmation from somebody that fits. All right, finally, slide 117 looks at the growth of smartphones. As recently as 2009, only about 18% of the U.S. population carried a smartphone. In 2015, that number is 64%. If you still doubt the importance of mobile to your business, it might be time to rethink that. If you want to see the other 188 of Mary's slides, there's a link in the show notes. Just go to geekbeat.tv and search for Mary Meeker. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at VS Ellis. I'm Scott Ellis. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be back.